In some of today's most popular video games, silencers are used to reduce your favorite gun's noise down to a whisper. But how accurate are video games when it comes to depicting the use of silencers? We're here today with video game expert Lana Pierce. Hi. Alana is from IGN.com and they're the world's largest video game website. Mm -hmm. And yesterday we actually got the chance to chat about suppressors in the video game world and I think I have a lot to learn. So Lana, tell us what you do in the video game industry and what got you into it. Yeah, uh, I am a editor and producer at IGN Entertainment. We are the largest games media website in the world. And I got into it because I've loved writing my whole life and I've loved games my whole life. So it seemed yeah. like a really obvious pairing. How do you feel about suppressors? I mean, I've never used one. And I really was of the impression that suppressors effectively made things silent. Are you nervous at all about getting out there and shooting guns? Or like, what are your expectations? No, as as I'm not nervous at all. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, definitely excited. And especially coming from a video game uh, perspective. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see uh, what it actually sounds like in person. All right, Alana, so now it's your turn to shoot unsuppressed. I'm gonna take your safety off. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, once you pull the trigger, it's gonna go, okay? Okay, we ready? Yep. <laughs> nice. I laugh every time, <laughs> I don't know why. All right, so now let's try the same thing, suppressed. I look forward to seeing the difference. All right, let's do it. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I really don't know what it's going to be like, you know? I'm you good. ready for it? Yep. All right, whenever you're ready. Oh, man. It's, I feel like it's, it's quieter uh, even without the earphones with the suppressor on. Let's throw one more in there for you. <laughs> Thank you. You ready for it? Yep. All right. I also feel like, uh, when I was doing it without the suppressor, I was uh -huh. blinking and kind of like moving backwards, whereas with it, I'm not doing that. Yeah. So it's like just easier to manage in general. It was a lot more comfortable suppressed in pretty much every single way. Um, I think after I'd shot it unsuppressed, I kept laughing. And I think that's my reaction to like being blown away by how powerful it felt. It was really hard for me to kind of keep it still. Uh -huh. And then suppressed, it was comfortable. Uh, I felt like there wasn't as much kick in my shoulder and obviously had no uh, audio issues at all. Yeah, it made a huge difference. So our next experiment, we're gonna test to see if a suppressor actually has a negative impact on the bullet speed. So this right here is a magneto speed chronograph and actually measures the speed a bullet travels out of the barrel and across this plane in feet per second. First, we're gonna do it unsuppressed, and then we're gonna do it suppressed and compare those two results. So in games, really often when you're using a suppressor, it actually makes you do less damage and slows down the speed of the bullet. So what were our results here? Unsuppressed, it was actually 2,728 feet per second. Mm -hmm. Now with the suppressor on it, we averaged 2,729 feet per second. That's crazy. It is crazy. That was actually slightly faster with a suppressor on it. And now our final experiment, mm -hmm is to test the power of a bullet, suppressed and unsuppressed. So I see we have some water jugs set over here. I assume that we're going to shoot through them and see what the difference is. We've got our 12 water jugs out here and we're gonna be shooting our 6.5 Creedmoor through these water jugs and we're gonna see how far it actually goes through. Okay, cool. We've got three broken water jugs, Very. and we've got a fourth one right here that was pierced. Okay. So, looks like the bullet just absolutely destroyed these three. Yeah. Went through, hit the fourth, just barely went into it, but there is still, uh, still water in that jug, and it just rested right here on the table. Cool, so let's try it with the suppressor on it. Let's do it. I thought we got the same results as the unsuppressed shot, but mm -hmm. it looks like I am wrong. So if you look at this fourth jug right here, I mean, we've got an entry 
<laughs> exit right there and you can actually see it lodged right yeah, in there. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I guess it's in line uh, with what happened when we were testing the bullet speed, but yeah, yeah I would have thought that it would be identical. Um, surprised that it made enough of a difference to actually dent the fifth one. Having a suppressor on your gun doesn't affect bullet speed at all or impact of the bullet. Video games were a lie. So today we tested sound, we tested bullet speed, and the bullet impact. Now, how do our results today compare to the video game world? Uh, it seems like games uh, have been lying to me my whole life. Uh, basically, when you put a silencer on a gun in a video game, most of the time it decreases damage and also decreases speed, but obviously um, the noise reduction is basically the same. So it seems like, according to our test, it was actually faster when we had the silencer on, so they are totally off. Um, and I, I get why this happens, it's so that people have more choices to make in-game and things aren't always accurate in video games, you can't get shot a hundred times and live. I get it, but uh, it's definitely a way for players to have kind of more agency, I think, and it's an interesting thing. How do you feel about shooting suppressed versus unsuppressed? Oh, it was crazy. I had no idea what to expect coming here, but it was tons of fun. Um, one thing is that uh, the silences were definitely a lot louder than I expected it to be. Uh -huh. It was more comfortable by far, but uh, not like whisper silent as it is in those Hitman games that I grew up playing. Yes. So that was interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you, Chris, for having me. This concludes Silence Co's episode about how silences work in video games versus in real life.